Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright. And this video is gonna be perhaps the first of many uh, where I talk about relationships, uh, the energy of different relationships that clients I know have, um, because I think a lot of it's very universal and a lot of people can learn. Um, so some of the relationships I talk about will be parent-child relationships, some will be um, husband and wife, some will be between friends. Um, we'll see, I have a list of uh, some clients. Of course, I will not tell you their names to protect their privacy. Um, so I'm gonna wear some sunglasses though, because uh, it is, even though it's cloudy, it's pretty bright out. So, hope you don't mind the shades. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm just gonna get started. Oh yeah, okay, so one thing that I saw mm, today or yesterday in one of my clients, um, she, uh, her husband lately has been, um, he'll get frustrated. And I won't say why because, you know, everybody knows other people sometimes because they refer people. So, you know, maybe some people she knows, watch videos, who knows, you know, but, um, but anyway, her husband gets frustrated um, every now and then and literally walks out of the house. <laughs> which obviously is very triggering. You know, they're parents of young children, your husband walks out of the house, that's kind of a thing, right? So, um, but what I noticed was, I mean, obviously, you know, you would think it's an issue just with him, right? You know, what's his problem? <laughs> but I always like to just look and see because she's my client consciously like he has done a triplet set and it helped him but he was a telepathic consent participant in that oh no he knew but he doesn't meditate you know so I can give her plenty of advice I can't really give him much advice um, maybe someday you know but anyway um, what I noticed uh, that there is some stuff that she can do to help improve the situation even though she's not the one walking out of the house. <laughs> so um, what I noticed was that um, before he walks out of the house, probably about an hour before he walks out of the house each time, she ends up courting all of his stuck energy blocks. Um, and that really makes someone feel very like pent up and trapped and like super, super, super stuck. If someone's courting your energy blocks, it's like the awfulest feeling ever. So then he doesn't have meditation skills, so he doesn't know how to uncord her. You know, ultimately, hopefully he learns that. But you know, some people, they're not super open to this stuff. So, you know, that's sort of a long range, maybe, hope. <laughs> But the good news is she doesn't have to wait for that. She can melt away her cords that she makes to him. And obviously she didn't know she was making these cords in the first place. So she can just as a daily practice, you know, certainly for the next week or two for sure. Um, because, you know, it's a subconscious habit that she's gotten into to cord the energy blocks of, you know, her spouse, her kids, um, one of her parents, you know, anyone that she wants to be happy, you know, she'll cord their energy blocks. And um, so what that is kind of like, let's say, let's say this leaf is an energy block and this is, well, it's a female figure, but let's say, let's say it's a male figure. Let's say this is her husband, right? And so he has some energy blocks, you know, in different parts of his energy field, right? So say he has one up here, right? And then she's cording it. That makes it really hard for him to clear it. So then he's like feeling super stuck. And plus, since she's cording his energy block, that kind of puts a, um, that wraps his, her energy around his blocked energy. So that even though this energy block is, in this case, from a past life of his, so it has nothing to do with her. I mean, she wasn't in that past life, not her fault, right? That he has this energy block still, but she's courting it. And so there's, it's like a candy wrapper, you know, of her energy around it. And so most people will therefore sense 
her energy around and think that she's, you know, getting him stuck. You know, so that's how a lot of people get in trouble in relationships. <laughs> they core the energy blocks of their partners or their friends or their siblings or whatever, or their kids. And then the person, it's supposed to be a guy, so <laughs> to face it this way. <laughs> this person, you know, in this case, her husband is like, oh my gosh, she's so in my space. You know, but he's trying not to escalate an argument or something. So he doesn't know how to just melt away the cords. So he leaves the house, which I think shocks her so much that she jumps out of his space. And then he finally can clear his energy blocks and then eventually come back home. So, like I said, all she has to do is imagine all the energy cords between her and her spouse, between her and her kids, between her and her mother, and melt them, you know? Uh, so if I do that right now, you can do that right now. You know, just imagine like you're on one side here and all the people you know are on the other side of your sort of visualization screen out in front of you. And just imagine all the cores, you know, maybe they made some of them, maybe you made some of them. It really doesn't matter. You just melt them all, you know, with cold light. And it doesn't matter that you can't see, you know, because you can do this with your intention. You just melt them with gold light. You know, and definitely breathe, you know, breathing is very important because, uh, you know, in my case, there are, you know, there's probably 40 energy cords that I'm melting right now. And that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you could say before you start you know angels help me to do this in a safe and gentle way you know so then they'll kind of help you if if it's a little too ambitious for you but then you know you just smelt them and that's it so you can do something like that twice a day three times a day whatever you know particularly if you sense that you might be kind of a backseat driver in the lives of your loved ones <laughs> <laughs> you know, she has the best of intentions for sure. She's just trying to get him to calm down and be more present and maybe be a little more helpful and positive, you know, but you can't really do that. You just got to give someone breathing room and let them, you know, evolve on their own, you know. So anyway, I hope that helps. So that was her homework to uh, just melt away the energy cords with gold light, uh, maybe like twice a day uh, for like a week at least. And then I told her she could post under some video and be like, am I still courting everybody I love? <laughs> you know, am I still courting you know who? <laughs> yeah. But you know, she could probably tell because you know, he'll probably stop walking out of the house, you know, unexpectedly. <laughs> um, so uh, there's that. Um, but, you know, in contrast, um, she really has managed a lot well, you know, because I don't want to only mention problems because part of the point of reading relationship issues for people is um, so that people aren't so phobic about relationships and how they work, how the energy works uh, of them. And um, so I think I need to read some of the good news too, not just all the problems, <laughs> you know. So even that same client, you know, she's dealt with a a lot of transition in her life um, in the last year and um, you know she did great in the last triplet set um, she released so much it was like she caught up on releasing that stuff that she didn't quite release in the last three months like she caught up on in like one triplet set <laughs> she really rocked it and um, even before that without the triplet healings you know she kept talking to her angels subconsciously and in her mind consciously and working with her angels in her sleep, getting healings every night in her sleep, which you can do, you know, just with your intention. Um, so she's been moving forward. It's just been a little bit, um, she hasn't been releasing enough, you know? Um, and that's really common. A lot of times, you know, people are like, well, I'll work on my energy, you know, when my life isn't so chaotic, you know, which is why I try to help people to learn something like that tricolor earth energy soak video, that six minute video, because you could literally like, I'll do a, 
you know, boom, boom, I'm doing a red earth energy soak, like right now, bam, I'm doing it, you know? So once you learn it, it's just like this automatic thing. And that's true for, um, you know, not just Janet Wright, super psychic. <laughs> All right, cool. So enough about her. So that is just a little heads up. And that can be, you know, some people may be courting their uh, bosses or, you know, whatever. So it, it can apply to non-family situations as well. Um, so I think that's enough for this video. Um, and then I'll, I'll probably make another. So you can look out for the other one that I'm going to make right now. Okay, I hope this helped and feel free to post any questions or comments that you have below. And um, if you like it, you feel like um, you want more of these videos or it was beneficial at all or you want other people to see it, please uh, do give it a thumbs up, okay? And of course, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel and you like what I'm doing, um, feel free to subscribe. Okay, bye!